Hello everyone on YouTube! Sorry I haven't been around for a while. I am... Um, the Ning Network has taken up a lot of my time. It's a fantastic space. I'm having lots of fun, but it means, means I have little time for other stuff. I really miss you guys here, and of course I want to continue doing my videos here. And as soon as the course finishes, I will be less busy and I should be able to do a bit more uh, videos for uh, my YouTube channel here. Uh, in the meantime, feel free to come and join the network, the Ning Network as well. We're having a lovely bunch of arty people there all sharing all their stuff and it's a wonderful place to be. So you're all very welcome to join. It's free to join. don't have to pay anything. And uh, it's just real great to, to have you all there if you want to come as well. Anyway, um, today I'm going to be doing a video on how to make glass pendants, glass art pendants, like these, like this one. You see? You'd hang them around your neck, like so. Yeah, this particular one has um, got some uh, art piece of art of mine, the You Shine piece in it, inside of it. I'm going to show you today how you can create your own glass pendant with either your own piece of art in it, or maybe a photograph of your loved one, or anything else. Anything else. I bought my uh, first art pendant kit from a lovely lady called Annie House, and with her permission, if I could stress that, I uh, am going to do this tutorial, which is based around the tutorial she um, included when I bought the kit. Yes, and anyone, if anyone is interested, don't actually know any other places where you can buy glass tiles. Um, so I recommend her shop. She sells the, the t she sells basically every single item that you need. So go check out her shop and let's have a look at how we can create our own art pendant. Okay, so. Um, I've just laid out the um, items that you might need uh, or you might want to use to make a pendant. And um, I think I've said it before already, but I got my glass tiles from this wonderful shop, this wonderful lady called Annie House. But basically what you're needing is a one glass tile. And the great thing about Annie House is that her glass is proper glass and it's not what you call green glass. So one glass tile. And it has a smooth and a rough, a sort of rough side. Then you need your the picture that you want to um, have in your pendant. I use my own work, but she also provides her own. She provides her little um, things like what do you call that pattern paper that you can use, such as this or this, all very lovely that you could use instead. I use my own art here. Okay. And then a bail. This is what you apparently call a bail. I didn't know that. Um, oh, sorry, I'm so close up that I keep not knowing where to go. It's a little bail that would become the hanger. This is silver plated, also from Annie House. You'll need something that's amazing. It's called diamond glaze, and this is a water-based adhesive that is mixable. But also the nice thing about this is that when you put it on glass and you stick things on it, it doesn't blur. It sort of becomes invisible or transparent and so it doesn't blur your image at all. And um, this came provided with the kit as well. This is a, just some industrial strength glue with which you'll later on um, ad adhere the bail, <laughs> the bail to the glass pendant, okay? So, let me show you how you go about doing it. What you do is you put, now be careful with the diamond glaze because diamond glaze can apparently sometimes have, oh, this some closed ones, sorry. Diamond glaze can have bubbles in them, and that's a bit frustrating because it can mess up with your, it can mess up your um, the look of your pendant. So you need to try. So you put it. Oh, there's a big bubble there. <laughs> so you put some glue on here. Diamond glaze actually might be alright. And then very quickly, I put my image on the glue, roughly. dries quite quickly but let me just I had to put some pressure on it and then what I 
tidy now. And he recommends you cut, um, you use a very sharp, uh, like a standing knife type thing to cut out the excess paper. I found that cutting it with scissors is actually not too bad. It's fine as well. So I just cut off the, the edges very neatly. So I might then use some of my scrapbooking paper, like this for instance, and cut out a little square. And because the back is just a bit white and a bit boring, it'd be nice, even though the, the back won't be seen uh, when it's hard, when you wear it, it doesn't matter really, um, it's nice to sort of um, have a, a nice colour on the back, a nice something happening on the back as well for whoever buys it, yes? Dry, let it dry, let it dry. So let that dry, and then also cut off the paper e excess in a bit with either a, a knife or scissors if it's possible. And then I use some um, general purpose sandpaper. I can see it. General purpose sandpaper uh, to smoothen the edges. I'll show you in a second. So just some general sandpaper. She wants it to be nice and smooth, don't you? We, we want it like that. Yes, we do. So I hope this is okay. So I'm cutting off the excess again. So it's not even too bad, the back, but there's a few little edges that I want to get rid of. So I just use some sandpaper to get it nice and smooth everywhere. Okay. So now we have a nice lovely little glass pendant or pebble, whatever you want to call it, um, with a nice back as well with some lovely whatever. And now we're just going to adhere the bail to it. So we want it to look like this. Don't we? So that we can have a hang it on a hanger. So all you do is you use some of the um, industrial strength glue that came with the the kit, or if you have your own, that's fine. But just something very strong, and you apply it to the back. Make sure that you know where you. <laughs> where what is, yes, that you're not doing the wrong side, so. And then apparently this needs to dry for like 16 hours. <laughs> it's a bit long, but never mind, you can do it overnight, yeah? You let it dry roughly overnight or something. And there we go, we have a nice little pendant with a bale that can be hung up, and then you get yourself either a silver necklace, or you get yourself another type of necklace, like a leather, um, string thing and then you walk around with your own self-made lovely necklace so yay uh, enjoy and uh, show me show me any of your pendants if you've made any okay bye